Hello, hello! Perfidious Pete here, back for another Neo Macaulay style smash and grab. In Perfidious Pete plays XCOM The Long War 2. And even though Chris Top Hits Brown tried to wane grow the whole Enterprise last episode by needlessly shooting some random bystanders, turns out my plan, it was too foolproof for him to screw up. Which I think by the transitive property means that I'm a better thief than Robert De Niro and Val Kilmer from Heat. When Wayne Grow went off the rails in Heat, he got Dennis Haysbert shot in the head, Val Kilmer shot in the stomach, and Bobby D busted by the cops and then also shot by Al Pacino. What happened to me? When Chris Brown went off the script and just decided, you know what, let's kill these bitches. All that happened is we just chinnied up a rope to escape to our waiting overhead hovercopter. It's not really a copter. Hover, plane, whatever. But it seems like if Neil McCauley had been a little bit better of a thief, he'd have had his own private hover jet waiting overhead to pick him up outside that bank instead of winding up in a city-wide gun battle with Al Pacino and the rest of the LAPD. What's the takeaway from that mission? I don't know. Maybe that uh, Chris Brown needs a little time in the cooler, so let let's, let's put him in for some officer training. Maybe this will help him get a more level head. If, if, like the OCS training's got to be good for him, right? It'd, like teach him some valuable lessons about combat awareness and how that just randomly shooting people isn't necessarily the best strategy. That can be the takeaway from last mission. Nope, screw that. New takeaway. The new takeaway is we're going to go steal these alloys and Illyrium crystals. The new takeaway is get a plain white cube van and smash your way through the side of a precious metals depository. Avenger plotting new course. The other takeaway is, like, don't trust Ashley Judd. That's the second takeaway. She will rat you out in a heartbeat. Val Kilmer, he should have learned lessons from Jordy LaForge. Jordy LaForge could have taught him what was going to have been like, man, you can't trust that Ashley Judd. She's a heartbreaker, Val Kilmer, a heartbreaker. You know what? That Ashley Judd girl, she's no good. You stay away from her, Val Kilmer. You stay away from that girl. She's trouble. So we get 100% here on Operation Morbid Crown. We still have six hours left. I don't think we're going to improve our situation any, but I'm still going to take the six hours. If nothing else, it puts... Okay, so enemy readiness is normal. We have light enemy activity. Three turns to evac with flare. I think this squad is... Yeah, it's just two guys. So what the hell was our plan here? It was to try and snipe. We were going to try and snipe the relay. All right, we're going to be very cautious about how we prosecute this mission then. What's our ultimate goal? It, it's to kill this thing from across the entire map with squad sight shots. We're going to send our shinobi forward to spot and then try and take it out from a, just a ludicrous range with squad sight. Here's the issue. Since it looks like it's going to be inside one big giant fucking church, we're probably not going to be able to make that happen. It's going to be prob it, it, it's just going to be like a line of sight thing. And if we can't get our team far enough away to shoot at the thing, we're probably boned. That, that's it. We're going to be more screwed than uh, Val Kilmer was when Ashley Judd ratted him out to Mike L.T. Williamson happened to Mike L.T. Williamson? For like, he did the Bubba Blue thing in Forrest Gump, and then for like five minutes he was in every movie, and now you don't see the guy anymore. Ever. For five minutes he was in every movie, from like the... Forrest Gump came out in like 1990, I want to say four, maybe? And from like 1994 till like the middle of 1996, Mike L.T. Williamson was in every single movie. And then since 1996, yeah, the guy is a fucking ghost, man. He's vapor. So yeah, we're probably boned then. We can't shoot from this approach at all because there's all of a church in the road. That's that's a drawback. Could we shoot from over here? In theory. Maybe this is our vector of approach. Maybe we can slip around this side. We got a lot of map to work with here. Maybe we could slip around the side. The issue is going to be time. OJ is not that fast. We'd have to go through these ruins. Can we get through these ruins without like deliberately... Well, as long as we don't crash through this door like an asshole, we'll be fine. All right, let's get Uncle Jared Fogel, who's going to be a bit quicker, and get him on scene. So we can take a look in this building. Because if OJ gets spotted, it, it's, it's, we're straight up... It's not just we failed the mission, we're actually going to be dead. This isn't just a... That's not just a failure state. That's a somebody dies right now state. If we have to abandon the mission, then we have to abandon the mission. But what we don't want is getting someone killed. So open this door. 
Still going to manage to be concealed. I really don't want you going first. I, I would prefer that Jared Folk will do this. I'm actually... A, uh, wait, we got detection tiles over here. No, you know what? I'm not going that far forward because there's, there's something going on there. Uncle Jared, why don't you just go get a peep around this corner? We don't have a ton of time, but we have some time. What is spawning detection tiles here? Okay, it's it's just like a it's a guard, it's a radio beacon thing. It's it's one of the like the identification towers. Okay, OJ, come around over here. Maybe we could slip around the side. That that's our only hope is that we're gonna be able to slip around the side. Also, here's another serious concern we gotta look about. How much friggin' health has this thing got? Because this bar was big. I despise the fact that numeric health totals does not work here, which means we have to count these pips. We got three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Eight, this thing has 20 friggin' health. So I think OJ's sniper rifle is like 4 to 6, which means we're going to need somewhere between, what, 4 and 5, or like between, yeah, like 4 and 6 turns of shooting then. We may not be able to get OJ in position fast enough to do that much damage. There is, there, okay, there's a turret right there. But that's not what spawned in the detection tiles, though. It's this thing. I really, really... Uh, there's another detection tower over here? Shit, is OJ even going to be able to get through this? Is there a gap he can squeeze through? I mean, the game says he can go around. Okay, Uncle Jared, come to this corner. I just want to make sure that OJ isn't going to accidentally walk into... There are so many detection towers over here, and then stupid civilians too? Goddamn stool pigeons! We just oh, okay. We're we're uh, we're not catching any breaks. I really, really, really want somebody to add a mod that lets you just bust civilians. I, this is where we need Chris Brown. See this this scenario right here. We need a friggin' Wayne Grow. This is where we need somebody to just go. You know what? Let's kill these bitches and then just start shooting them. We need that right now. I need a Wayne Grow to come take out these obnoxious punks who are in the road. OJ, I really don't like moving you this far, but it's sort of got to be done because, again, we're going to need you shooting, and we're going to need you shooting, like, quickly. We also haven't seen any enemies other than the turret, and I have to admit, that has me filled with terror and dread. Because there have to be enemies somewhere on this map. Oh, in fact, they're right there. Okay. So we have to be far enough away when we start shooting that those guys... And we also need to know from where we can see. Like, can we see... Do we have any... Okay, here, wait a minute. We can see it from there. So if we're along that similar line, how far away can OJ... We can have a shot at it from this tile. That's also pretty far away from the... It's, it's almost, in fact, as far away as we can get. All right, OJ... I'm still going to have you move first here. Pete, why are you taking firsties with OJ? What's the advantage of having the juice get loose first? Well, the advantage for having the juice get first lurt... The juice get first lurch is how that actually came out of my mouth. Not what I intended to say, but what the advantage of having the juice get loose first is... Well, one, we got to get Jared Fogel close enough that he can actually see the thing so we can get a squad site shot. I'm real worried about these guys patrolling into the side of us. The advantage of having the juice move first is he can't, uh, you know, we can't have our cover busted. He can't break this man's cover. His own cover he could ruin. He can't give away Jared Fogel, though. That's the, that's the whole advantage. So, Juice, you're in a tile where you should be able to see it, but we don't have vision on the actual thing yet. So, like, if we move Jared Fogel to here, he can see it. Okay, Fogel, uh, oh good, not only can Fogel see it, but there's like 8 trillion guys over there as well. Don't love that. Alright, Uncle, oh, okay, you know, we got 8 turns here. OJ's gun does 4 to 6, so we're going to have to be shooting the entire time. Well, if we're going to start shooting, then the first thing we got to do, we're going to call it Sky Ranger. We got to wait 3 turns. I, honestly, I'd prefer to not shoot this turn. I don't know if we're going to be able to pull that off, though. 
We may now we got to start shooting. We may not have enough time if we don't start now. Because remember, OJ only has three bullets, and somehow that shot did fucking two damage, despite the fact that its minimum damage is listed at four. Well, if we're gonna get, did we just graze it? Is that what happened? Okay, nobody came at us. I think we may have just grazed that. If these things are grazable, I'll be. Okay, well, seven damage. It's something. The, our plan is working, though. Here's the thing. The, the plan, the overall plan, is paying dividends. Eyes on the prize. Uncle Jared's up there being there with the eyes on the prize. He's got his eyes on the six-inch foot, the, 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 the six-inch veggie sub that's going to keep his weight down and help him get that spokesmanship. Six more damage from the juice. We're close. The problem is juice is out of ammo, which means he can't shoot at all next turn. That, that really sucks. On the plus side, though, evac is available, and the juice is in evac. So he reloads. And then I think we're probably just going to have you wait. We got four more, to five more. To no, juice, no. End that turn. It's all going to come down to whether or not the juice has enough bullets here. If these guys can, as soon as they get vision on OJ, we have to leave. If OJ gets spotted, we, we have no choice but to run. Also, Jared Fogel is in a real fucking precarious position. No, don't shoot at any of those people. Ugh, please, please, Juice. You gotta get this kill. Nope. We need one more shot. We're in a real tricky position here. Uncle Jared, you have to ghost walk. I'm a ghost. We have to have Jared in a spot where he's not gonna get flanked by these guys, but also where he can still see the thing. Which is here? Okay, he's, he's still providing us with squad sight. Is he still has it as a target? So he's gonna Overwatch. Overwatch. Juice, I need one more shot out of you, and then you could straight up evac immediately. Okay, so we're screwed. This is our last turn. The, the jig is up. We're done. They're gonna step on Jared Fogel. <gasps> they didn't though, and they didn't spot OJ. We got so... Uh, okay, you know what? That, that that's, that's the kind of fortune you can't argue with, because this is mission achieved. Thanks to OJ sniping skills! Check it out. We're done. Yeah, you guys might want to freak out a little bit, but you know what? The juice is going to beat it. That's right, Pete. I know a good thing when I see it. Once the juicer got the job done, the juice turn on the juice and get the hell out of Dodge. And you know what? Uncle Jared Fogel is going to do exactly the same thing. Turn on the juice and get the hell out of Dodge. Hey, guys. See you later. They're on to me. Yeah, they're on to you, but it's too goddamn late for them to do anything about it now, Uncle Jared. They better not get reaction fire on you while you're standing in the open or I'm going to fucking tear my hair out and punch something. If a single one of these miserable cocksuckers gets to shoot at you... All right, then. These guys can't even fucking see him and can't move far enough to see him, so I'm less worried about them shooting. Also, hey, Jared, you know what's time to do? Yep, it's time to ski diddly daddle. It's like when the cops showed up and I started asking you questions about that underage girl. It's time to get the fuck out of Dodge, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Operation Morbid Crown completed. We got credit for killing an enemy, but didn't get credit for killing an enemy because it was a relay, I guess, is how that works. You know what? I don't even care. I'm perfect. Flawless mission. We could not have asked for better performance from either of our team. OJ, when you went to kill your cheating wife, how come you didn't use a sniper rifle, bro? It's untraceable. You could have shot her with an ice bullet. Think about that, OJ. You could have it could have been the perfect crime. I mean, arguably, you got away with it, so it sort of was the perfect crime, except the civil court found you legally responsible for her death, even though they couldn't convict you of murder, which, you know what? I'm not, ugh, I'm not, how is that legal, by the way? We're, you're legally responsible for her death, even though we couldn't prove that you killed her? What was the argument from the, the, the prosecution on that one? I'm, I'm genuinely curious. I mean, it's probably a matter of public record, so if I was genuinely curious, I could go find out. But, I mean, there's genuine curiosity, and then there's perfidious peak curiosity, wherein it's sort of an interesting thought experiment for about two minutes while you're trying to fill time while loading screen loads. 
And then afterwards, you just immediately stop caring. That's what happened here, by the way. I already don't care anymore. On the plus side, though, OJ must have quit. Simpson has one of our best kill to mission ratios on the team. Uncle Jared, by the way, still throwing the donut. And despite the donut, definitely the MVP. Because OJ kills nothing if Uncle Jared isn't there being his eyes and ears. Hollow targeting. Okay, OJ, you're actually not our ultimate mission sniper, though. That's Michelle Wheelman Rodriguez, because she's way faster than you are. You're supposed to be a hollow targeting sniper, right? Right, and we pulled you off of Haven defense duty. I don't remember why, but I remember that we did it, and also I remember that we're going to undo it here in just a second. So you got high def hollow. Hollow targeted enemies are easier to critically hit. Um, what, what specifically, how much easier? 10? You know, that may have been, not, I probably should have read what that ability actually did before I took it, because it seems like damn good ground would have been overall just a better ability. We already have rapid target. We could respec it, but you know what? Again, OJ, you're probably have done the one mission you're ever going to do. This was your bright shining moment, sir, and that, that that's it for you. Blade Master is good, Hunter's Instinct is fantastic, and both of them pale in comparison to Covert. For a Stealth Shinobi, we're taking Covert. That reduces our overall infiltration time, also lowers our detection radius. Uncle Jared is going to be a goddamn invisible ghost in a snowstorm. Yes, he's in, well, all ghosts are invisible, Pete. No, this one is like not even a full torso vaporous apparition, where you can sort of see a little bit of it even as you see through it. No, no, no. This is an invisible ghost. No visible effects whatsoever. Invisible ghost. Man, I feel pretty good about that mission. Also, let's put OJ back on his permanent desk job. Hey, OJ, you got some resistance managing to do here. Um, oh, right. Will Smith was filling in for you. Not anymore. Get your ass back on there. These faceless are getting uppity in your absence, OJ. They'll be like, what? F -f Will Smith's on the job? The Fresh Prince? We're going to throw a party up in here, man. We don't need to be doing anything crazy. It's going to be a whole faceless party. Yo, Holmes, break out the keg. Not anymore. OJ's back. Now it's time to living in a state of abject fear at all times because the juice is loose and he might come cut a bitch. Or snipe a bitch. Now, yeah, think about this. OJ's a double threat now. So we got a new target for our gorilla. Okay, what do we got? Um, Interesting. Location of Advent Regional HQ. We get to, so this is a liberation mission. Does this mission expire? Is the question. It doesn't have a it doesn't have a timer. Um does does it expire though? I don't think it does. But we need to do, uh, we need to do a couple more. Of the, okay, hold on a second. We got to do a little planning here. I definitely want to try and hit the, the first pip of our liberation chain. That's definitely an ultimate goal for us. In fact, we're, we've been deliberately holding off and expanding to a new region until we got a shot at that. And now we got a shot at that. Specifically thanks to OJ and his long squad site sniping, which did wonders for us. But in order to do that, we're going to need like the... We're going to need ten, our 10 best troopers, right? We don't just need 10 troopers. We need, like, our 10 best troopers. And Courtney Love, Reese Witherspoon, Bill Cosby, and Mark Big Hit Wahlberg are all infiltrating. We could make do without Kiefer if we have to. We got the Wheelman, Suge Knight. We got, okay, we got a bunch of teams out for infiltration. We need to know who's where and how long until they come back. And this might even theoretically be something we would want to pull teams off of. Trash pickup, how many people are on this? Yeah, so the, the trash pickup, we may want to just say, you know what? Today is not garbage day. How long for pub public service announcement is the Wheelman, Don the Stomper, and Jay Z? We could actually probably let them go. Now, you know, it wouldn't hurt to have these guys back. And how long is your mission? A long, like forever, though. Seven days, two hours. That's for trash pickup. How long? Public service announcement. I want to look at their mission. You know, go back to waiting. How long for the public service announcement? 
They have one day 11 hours, and where are we going to get? I mean, we could just go on this now. The enemies are already... Vo that may be what we do. We may jump the gun on this one. We're 155% infiltrated for a rescue mission that we don't care about. And then maybe we just... Because we won't need a lead, right? We, w we won't even need... Yeah, that that's the thing. We won't... The engineer, though. We don't need a lead, but I still want the engineer. I gotta have people to, you know, slavishly work down in the mines. I can't properly call myself a commander or a slave driver if I don't have some people getting the whips cracked on them down in the mines. That's just how things work. Seven days, two hours is forever, though. Like, forever. We could launch it now, but with moderate to heavy resistance, we would just get killed. So that's about when we definitely wouldn't save old Debbie Reynolds here from the death of dying of grief and heartbreak when her daughter was tragically lost to the world. This doesn't have an ex it doesn't have an expiration timer though. If it we could just do this. Max squad size is 5. Oh. Evac with flare, sweep objective concealed start. So we can only send five people on this mi- Okay, well now that's a whole different bucket of syrup. We only get five people? Ugh, ugh. We could go Shinobi Heavy. We could take Reese Disorderly Witherspoon. Probably Mark Big Hit Wahlberg. We would need Randy Contrails Quaid because I want his stun gun. And also, I'm, I'm going to want people who can move and fight on the same turn. I'm going to want a team that can just storm in and murder. What if we did, like, three Shinobis and Assault and then Mark Wahlberg? I really wouldn't mind having a specialist in on that, but Chris Brown is down for six days. Don King is infiltrating, but I don't really want to take, like, a Lance Corporal Specialist. I don't know. We're, you know what? This We're going to have to put some... Suge Knight is infiltrating, but he's got to be... If we pull the other team back, Suge Knight comes with him. We're going to have to do some thinking about this between episodes. That's, that's what we're going to have to do. I, I just, I'm, I'm torn, admittedly. I'm like a Natalie Imbruglia song over here. That's all right. I'm torn. We got one day is 10 hours. I do want to go... Okay, we're going to want to get this mission. Regardless of what else happens, we still want the public service announcement to do that. So let's fit, hit the battle site, pick up our alloys and Illyrian crystals, and then I think this is where I'll wrap this episode up. I know it's a little bit on the short side, but who would have expected that Uncle Jared Fogel and OJ could so deftly slip in and destroy a radio relay like that? I, I honestly did not expect us to do that mission. As soon as I saw that thing spawn inside of the church, I didn't think we were going to be able to get a firing scenario on it. We got... Did we get lucky, or is it just that maybe my stealth gameplay is, is starting to come up to next level level gameplay? Am I finally playing like the legend that the difficulty I'm playing on? Definitely not, because I mean, we probably got way luckier than we deserved. But hey, I've always said I'd rather be lucky than good. I'd also rather be not recording this and rambling like an idiot, so I'm going to stop. If you enjoyed the episode, feel free to drop a like down in the comment section. Of course, support really does mean a lot. I'm going to do a little off-camera thinking, and if you'd like to see what decision we decide to make with regard to this tower, right now I'm leaning towards probably just wait, because I don't think it's going to expire. We'll see. But if you want to see what I decide, consider subscribing as well. New episodes of XCOM every single day. Right now, I'm just going to go uh, have a little celebratory beverage. I can't believe that that worked. Maybe a refreshing glass of orange juice to celebrate the juices one and probably only victory for the whole campaign? Seems appropriate. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you soon.